Tony G with Reaver.com. We're here at the TV Jones booth with my buddy Tom. How are you, Tom? I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. So, um, obviously, TV Jones are some of our favorite pickups. Um, our video guy, Michael, over here is in love with the pickups. Anytime he sees a telly with a TV Jones in it, he, his mouth drops, he starts drooling, wow. eyes roll back. I love tellies. Yeah. Um, but I think the story uh, this year really is, is are these new TV Jones brand guitars. Um, they're called the Spectrasonics, Spectrasonic. and uh, we've had the Supreme out for five or six years. Yeah. Now we have a Spectrasonic standard. Cool. It's uh, it's flat. It's uh, like a more like a standard versus a custom, I guess, in yeah. the Les Paul line. Yeah. Just it's a player. It's absolutely gorgeous. I got so a new pickup too. You got a new pickup. So what's this new pickup in here? That is a new single coil. I was going for a fat single coil, and very clear in the neck, and uh, dynamic. And I, I designed it. Uh, within a couple hours because the truck was on its way to pick up the whole shipment for NAM, so I had to like get up very early and start winding it and it wow. all worked out really well. So I mean how did you get into pickup winding? I mean was it kind of like you know the idea of just like you know the pursuit of tone or, or? Well I'm a guitar maker and I've made tons of guitars in the 90s, six string, seven string, and they all sound a little different acoustically so I had to develop pickups to give them their own sound. Yeah. Right. So I, I got into it by uh, tinkering and, and just uh, marrying pickups with guitars. Yeah. And then Brian Setzer, my old uh, client, 21 years now, yeah. uh, came up to me uh, and Rich Modica, his tech at the time, and uh, they needed a Filtertron for his new Hot Rod Gretsch, yeah. which is right behind us. There's the brand new version of it. Yeah. I mean, you see, you see TV Jones and Gretsch. I mean, I'm seeing Cower, another one of our favorite oh, yeah. brands. Great AXL, we got Rebel Relic from uh, Amsterdam. Michael yep. Kelly over there. Yep, my what's, friend Chris Hill, CB Hill. Mm -hmm. oh, that's gorgeous. That pink, that pink sparkle. What's this? Uh, what's that yellow guitar right oh, there? It almost looks like a Bigsby guitar. That something? is excellent. That is my friend Hilko from Belgium. And, and Hilko is the greatest guy. Yeah. So, um, and so what kind of pickups are in those? Got a Supertrons, Supertrons, and Hilco hand carved that. It's like 30 to 60 years old. I don't remember. So Supertron the versus Filtertron, what, what, what's the difference kind of tonally between those two? The Filtertron comes with the pole screws. There's more dynamics with the blades. It's the same uh, bobbins. With the blades, it's more inductance. It's more of like an on-off switch. It's more like in your face, bolder, cool. fuller. It's like almost like a Firebird-style pickup, which which uses yeah, the blades too, right? But, yeah, but a different design. So you sure, have a lot of, of dynamics, a lot of clarity, but the the boldness of the of the blades are awesome. I'm gonna grab a couple of these and uh, make some noise. Number two oh nine. I love these guys, man. <laughs> Neck feels great. It's almost like a Maton guitar or something, you know? Rad, man. I want one. There you have it, TV Jones booth here at Summer Nam. Uh, thanks so much for talking with us, Tom. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Awesome.